say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt stay with me until the last man falls i don't need them anyway when i'm with you i have it all oh, oh i'll never let you slip away oh, oh, oh and you don't have to Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you are new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button, come along and join my YouTube family. I am so grateful for each and every one of you for clicking on today's video. As you can see, we have a hot mess going on in our garage, but that's all about to change because we got a shed and we need to get a lot of this stuff moved on out of here and get this garage organized so let's go ahead and jump right into it say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and these cars don't hurt stay with me until the last man falls i don't need the man so as you can see, it is an all hands on deck type of day. The kids are out here helping. Fred and I are working hard. There's a lot of stuff. So for those of you that don't know, we just recently, well, it's been what, about eight months or so, moved from Nebraska down here to Florida, about central east coast Florida. And we went from a two story home with a basement um to a single story home ranch style house with no basement uh so we have a lot of stuff although we did donate declutter give away um about half of our stuff before we moved somehow we still managed to bring a lot with us so we're trying to figure out a way to just get everything organized and moved out we do somehow need to get rid of um some more stuff but a lot of it is decorations or mem memorabilia stuff like that so we're gonna get as much as we can into the shed and whatever we don't want or don't think we'll use we will definitely be donating I do want to give a huge shout out to my kids for this day because not only was it hot, as you can tell by our summer apparel, um, they they were just they they were all hands in. They were willing to help without complaining um, and just getting a lot of these boxes and heavy stuff moved out of this garage. I, I'll tell you what, they have been troopers through this entire move, not only, you know, having to leave somewhere, the only place that they've ever known, I mean, we, we have two, it's the only place that we've ever known, but again, we're adults, uh, so our kids have just been such troopers through this whole moving process, um, but yeah, they, they really, really helped us this day, and I, I do want to just give them a huge shout out, a huge thank you, um, I, I'm very grateful that we have such good kids that are willing to help us. Because it matters, matters. Dreaming of your kisses. In the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing. But I feel like I say I'm doing all right, I'm fine. But I'm scattered with just friends. Mm. Oh no, I don't want to be the one with answers. Because I sure don't want to. So, like I said, it's been about eight months or so since we've moved here. We moved at the end of June of last year, um, and our house has gone through so much change. It's so crazy. It doesn't even look like the same house that we bought. Um, I am super excited, though, to get the yard done this spring slash summer. 
Um, we've already been in the 90s here, you guys, so it, it definitely feels like summer here, but I'm super excited to just get our yard in place um, now that we've got most of the house ready to go and, you know, we're just kind of making everything our own. I will say that we are missing some of our friends back home and there are definitely some restaurants that we're missing. Um, I did tell my oldest the other day, I was like, you know, one thing that I do miss is knowing where to go for things, you know, and it's just random stuff. I, I, I mean, I can't even think of what, I can't even remember what I was looking for, but I'm like, I don't even know where to go for this. You know, if we were back home, I would know where to go, but now I don't, but you know, it's okay. It's still a learning process, learning curve. Um, I will say that we have made it officially through the busiest time of year, which is bike week at Daytona. Uh, there was apparently over 400,000 additional people here and yes, it was crazy. Um, but we made it through the busiest time of the year, I think. Um, and we're still chugging along and doing great. We have no regrets about moving. We absolutely love it here. I did not miss the winter, which you guys, it is actually from what I saw on the weather channel. It is currently snowing back home. So we definitely don't miss, miss the winters. This garage cleanout project was definitely a big project. It was a multi-day project. Uh, the kids definitely helped a lot, like I said. But this day, I am on my own. Fred has already moved all his stuff over to the other side of the garage. So I'm going to go ahead and get the right side of the garage kind of cleaned up and organized. I am putting all my like cleaning supplies, like my um, carpet shampooer, my spin mop, um, all those types of things organized on this side of the garage, also including my crafting supplies. I just wanted to keep my crafting stuff in the garage instead of out in the shed so that way I had easy access um, for when I decided I needed it. Um, I also wanted to kind of move the treadmill over a little bit so that way when I want to walk inside, say it's too cold, yes it does get too cold here. Um, we've had a few mornings where we've been down in like the 30s and 40s, not often, uh, but or if it's raining or something like that, I will walk on the treadmill as opposed to walking around the neighborhood. But um, as you can see, I did lay down that little rubber mat. That is actually a mat that goes under your sink to help pr protect the cupboard. But I thought that I would use it to help protect my my spin mop and stuff like that. Uh, from the garage floor. So I went ahead and put that down there and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and hang up this broom wall organizer. I'm not exactly sure 100% of what it's called. Um, I did pick this up at Ikea, but I did find one for you guys on Amazon. So I did go ahead and link that down below in the description for you guys. Um, it is in my Amazon storefront too if you don't uh, end up finding the link. But Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this hung up, get the brooms organized, and keep chugging along. As you can tell, I was definitely having some problems getting this screwed into the wall. I just kept dropping the screws and I was getting so frustrated. But I finally got it figured out and got everything hung up. And now I'm going to go ahead and just put some of these Sam Adams into our fridge. Now, currently, you can tell the light is not on. The fridge is not on. 
Um, we do not have electricity on the side, and for some reason we only have like two outlets in this entire garage, and our laundry is in the garage. So those outlets are kind of occupied um, with the washer and dryer and our freezer, which you can see our upright freezer in the back there by the water heater. So at some point, uh, we will have somebody come in and run some electrical for us. But for now, I just wanted to get the, the Sam Adams box out of the way, so I just unloaded it into the fridge. And then we're gonna go ahead and move this wire rack. This wire rack I'm going to use, it does have our, our water on it. Um, we actually bought that water for hurricane prep, but uh, we didn't end up needing it because our water never got shut off, but we will be using that definitely in the summertime when softball comes because it's coming folks. The softball season is is just about getting started. Some kind of magic you came into my life. And with that bed you give me falling twice. Yeah, you're an angel and always on my mind. As most of you know, we have four kiddos, which you saw in the beginning helping out a ton. And with four kiddos comes a lot of outside toys. <laughs> Um, Mia, our oldest there, she is a travel softball player. Uh, she also plays for our local high school. So not only does she have a lot of softballs and stuff, but we just have a lot of other uh, outdoor activity items. So we actually found this hang up organizer. Um, I think it was at Shields. I do not know if it is still available or not. If it is, I will try to link it for you guys down in the description if you're interested. I absolutely love it. We actually used it at our old house and brought it with us. And I thought this spot was perfect for it. So we went ahead and got it hung up and then just started unloading all the sports equipment into it. I was having a little bit of a struggle trying to organize some of it, um, like the tennis rackets and that, but we got it figured out and I absolutely love this and definitely recommend it. It is a great product and super sturdy. Bye. Just wanna love you like I do on my own Yeah, this is what it's about when it's just you and I And the stars in the sky and the heart of the motor It's so much better if I'm wrong If I can live all my life tonight Where I live on the road I wouldn't doubt there's nothing I want more I wanna stay by your side You guys will have to let me know if you guys like the super chatty video because I definitely just realized that I was chatting a lot. <laughs> um, I hope that's okay. You guys will have to let me know again uh, down in the description if, or in the description, in the comments. Y'all know what I mean, right? Uh, you'll have to let me know down in the comments if you guys like chatty videos or if you prefer more music. I don't care either way. I make these videos for you guys. I absolutely love chit chatting though. So you'll have to let me know what you guys prefer. Uh, but anyway, we're going to go ahead and let Fred kind of finish up cleaning his area and his side of the garage. Because again, we are on another day of this garage cleaning, organizing, decluttering. I don't even know what to call it anymore. A 
again we had a little bit more help from the kiddos and then i also wanted to put some of their shoes most of our shoes are inside um in our rooms and stuff like that these shoes though tend to get a little more outdoor use uh so i kind of like to keep them out in the garage they also mostly as you can tell are fred shoes uh, they just make it easier access for him to grab his shoes before leaving for work or if he needs to run outside real quick. But anyway, guys, I do want to remind you of what everything looked like before. I almost forgot how messy it really, it really was. This, this project, uh, this decluttering project took us a few weeks to get fully finished. And I am so excited to say that it is finally done and it looks so much better you guys what do you think let me know down in the, the comments anyway that's gonna be it for today's video thank you for coming along and i hope you guys stay happy healthy and safe until next time bye guys